Okay, so it's lead. Is it what is it? Uh, uh, lead chloride two. Lead uh, chloride. Lead two chloride. Okay. And we want to know uh, this is a solid. It has a KSP value, right? Uh, yes. What's KSP? 1.17 times 10 to the negative 5. 1.17 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay. So we'll write out its reaction. Lead 2 plus aqueous plus 2i minus aqueous. See ya. Oops. See ya. Okay. And then... Does it give you the molarity of something? Yes. Okay. Which one? Um, the molarity of the chloride ion is 0.01 molar. Okay. And then it says, how much lead do you need to cause this to precipitate, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, what I would do is go, well, KSP is lead 2 plus times Cl minus squared. Okay. Put this here. KSP, put that one in. And solve for lead. And that should be the minimum value necessary. Is that okay? So, the, the start of precipitation, that moment when it's starting, that's saturation. And so once you go above that, you get outside of equilibrium. But at the moment of saturation, that's equilibrium. So did you want us to use like less than and greater than signs in the answer box? Whatever it tells you. Yeah, I didn't write that. Uh, so I think it's what value does it need? So they just want a value. What concentration? Has to be something more above. Yeah, so they just want to. It seems like they would just want a numerical answer. Yeah. Do you see the. You just calculate for the amount of iron? Uh huh. Oh, you already did that? Yeah, to do Q. Because in order to precipitate, you have to have KSP greater than Q. Okay. Sounds great. Is that okay?